You are not gonna believe what you can get here in Byron, Mississippi for 260,000, especially with everything else going on here. And that's what we're showing you in the video. And if you'll stick around, I'll even show you what the inside of this house looks like. That's right, we are out here in Byron today. And if you're wondering why we're out in front of Raising Cane's, because Charles had to get had something to eat. Lunch, I need lunch. He had to get some lunch. I ate before we start doing video, but you know, it is what it is. Raising Cane's is good if you're not familiar with it. And, and if you're not, the chicken's hot. You know, I know a lot of y'all watch from other parts of the country. So leave a com comment down below what other part of the country you are from. And if you got Raisin Cane's, if you like it. And, and, and if you're from Vegas, we know there's Raisin Cane's yeah, there. Yeah, we, we recently went out there. But before we get too deep in this, I want to say, you know, we're making this for y'all. A lot of times that are from other parts of the country, thinking about relocating to the area. We are local real estate agents in the yes, area. We are. I talk to y'all after you move here. You'll meet me in Costco <laughs> or Walmart somewhere. And you say, oh, I love your videos. We moved here a year ago. And I say, why didn't you call? Well, I didn't know you are in real estate. We're in real estate. That's what we do. That's the main thing we do. We do the videos for fun, so hopefully you'll call us. And to provide you value. And yeah, provide you value on the on the on the real estate side. So, whatever you got real estate needs anywhere in the Jackson, anywhere in the whole Mississippi area, really. That's right. We can hook you up. Take a second. You got to give us a call. Shoot us a text. I'll break out your megaphone. Whatever you got to do to reach out to us. Whatever it takes, y'all. Get in touch with us. But today we are in Byram here. Byram, we are about we say 15, 20 minutes from downtown. Yep. You know, and and that's that's a typical commute here. Maybe maybe 30 minutes if you're in that rush hour. Rush traffic. hour traffic, I would say, slows it down. But, but that's even better now since I-55's construction is done. It's yeah. been done. So that was the thing. Last time I did a video, which has been a while. This <laughs> raising gains. It's two years old. Yes, yeah, two. It's almost two years old. And I'm pretty sure when I I'll have to look at old drone footage that I have from last time I did the buyer. Watch the old, the old video. Yeah, I'll, you I'll can pop do that it up. Too. I'll pop it up. You can watch the old video. But uh, yeah, I don't think this was here. But there's a lot of stuff. I don't think the Starbucks was here. No, There's Starbucks a rallies wasn't that went here. I'm not sure if that Burger the King Moe's, was here. Maybe it was. Uh, uh, Burger King was probably here. Moe's though, and Rallies definitely. Chick needed. Chick Fil A was brand new, so there's. There's a lot of stuff here. There so there's here. a lot more places to eat now in Byron than there used to be is what we're getting at. That's right. So you've had a ton of commercial growth and you've still got, uh, like what I mentioned and what you'll see later, uh, a pretty affordable real estate market here. Oh as yeah. Well. Oh, for sure. For sure. You get a lot more house for your money over here in Byron. It's also USDA eligible, which means the house qualifies for hundred percent financing. So no down payment. Obviously you as a buyer would have to qualify. So obviously you got pretty much everything you need on a daily basis in Byram. Mm -hmm. And so you've got all that. You've got affordability here, which is leading kind of to the next thing I hear from a lot of y'all. One of the reasons you look at moving to Mississippi in the first place is you don't want to live like packed in really tight. Right, right next to your neighbor. You want to spread out a little bit. You can do you, that here. You can definitely do that here. Uh, you, you still have neighbors obviously, but there's a lot of space between you and that neighbor. Uh, and uh, this is that acreage living that uh, Jared was talking about earlier. Obviously it's not the big acreage where you have a lot of space, but you can get that over here as well. Yeah, so here we're in, this is Byramdale Estates. You can get homes. I think we looked at some in the high threes, up into the fours, mm -hmm. and, and above that. Obviously, you can go, you can go higher, but you're getting one and a half acres, two acre lots, plenty of room to spread out, and plenty of room in the house. I think one we saw was like 480 and had 3,600 3, square feet. 3,600 square feet. It was 480 and 1.4 acres. Uh, so uh, plenty of space. And you can't, you go across town, that's gonna to cost you a lot more than 480. Oh yeah, for sure. And if that's not enough for you, you want to sprout even more, just like I said in the map video, I'll pop up where I explained kind of the whole area. Uh, if you are looking for land, you want more than this. You want, you know, some wooded areas, you want a pond, you want Five all that plus stuff. plus acres. You know, if you want all that, the area around Byram, where Byram might be kind of your hub, where you're gonna go into town to get groceries, to, you know, to get something to eat. Um, the area around that is going to be where you can get some of the most affordable acreage land and homes probably in the whole metro area. Right, which I, I would say uh, Terry and then you could go over into Raymond. Raymond's going to be a little more pricier than Terry though mm -hmm. uh, for the same time. Raymond's got some beautiful rolling hills over that way. Yeah, it does. And then you can, you've also got some kind of in between here, kind of going over towards Rankin County into Florence. So you've got, you've got kind of this whole area around here where you've got affordable land. Now, I also in that video, I mentioned one of the trade-offs that you have, as, aside from, you know, if you do get far out, you're gonna be, you know, you're driving to get everything. Uh, but the other trade-off is you got that big, you know, that affordable land, you don't have the highest rated school district in the area. If you look on niche.com, you're going to, Byram's going to Terry High School. You're gonna be a, what do we, what do we see there? A B minus on niche? A, I think it was a C plus. You oh, do sorry. have Gary Road Elementary there. I think they were a B minus. Okay. Um, so you don't have, you know, a plus rated schools. They're not the worst rated schools in the area. Well, like I told Jared, you can't expect every place you go to to have an A plus. I mean, no. let us know if it's if, if that's not true. Yeah, uh, but, 
but yeah, but but you would have alternatives. Right, you do have alternatives. You got private school options, uh, and I have some friends that used to teach at Terry High School, and uh, they said, you know, it kind of gets a bad rap, a little bit on those websites and things. And there, they, you know, now they were the teachers, so I, mean, I guess you would expect them to say that. But they, they said it was pretty good. So that's just something to keep in mind. It's there's always going to be a trade-off somewhere. That's one of them. And, and like uh, you mentioned earlier, the other one would be you're going to have to go back into town for that boutique shopping or that big commercial like your uh, Target type shopping. Uh, you do have Walmart here in Byron. You do have Kroger here in Byron. Uh, there's another, I think there's another grocery store up the way out across the street from uh, Walmart. But uh, for boutique shopping, your Targets, your malls and stuff like that, your uh, nice uh, casual dining restaurants, uh, you'll probably, you're going to have to go back into town for that. Now, there is a place. Uh, uh, called Wendell Steakhouse that oh. I've been told is really, really good. Have you good. never been? I, I have not been yet. Oh gosh, but. I went, well, I had friends take us there a long time ago. <laughs> it's in an old gas station. It's, check out Wendell. Everybody talks about it over this yeah. way. Yeah, if, you, if, you come, if you're coming here to explore this area, uh, check out that. And if you need somebody to go try it with you, just hit me up, I'll, you know, let me know. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy a, to go along. I've got a client I'm working with right now, uh, and they'll go at five o'clock early to beat the rush uh -huh. uh, before the rush gets there because it gets a little busy over there. Yeah, Wendell is good. But I want to kind of take it to the other end what we're talking about now because mm -hmm. we, we kind of like you, you can get your acreage you can get your land obviously you're going to be spending a little more money you're you know you're getting higher and higher in price point even though it's affordable if you're getting a lot of land it's going to be higher but but lot, it's going to be cheaper than probably anywhere else in the country the other reason people move here is because you know maybe hey i want to buy my first home and i mm -hmm. can't afford it in whatever city i'm in or wherever i'm at but i can come here and be kind of close to all these things we got great news. It. Great news for you. Yeah, you can do it here. What do we see? 150, 175, yeah. 210. So those are right. Those are actually right close to the elementary school. So if you got younger kids, you got you can walk right there. That's a convenience for you. Mm -hmm. um, and you're all right there. So it got, got a lot of for matter of fact, one of our I'll shout out to you. I can't. I, I won't won't put out your name, but one of our very <laughs> first people that called us through our YouTube channel here when we started doing this to help people relocate. Um, she moved to uh, Byram. one of those neighborhoods here, here in Byram, in Byram uh, just because it's so affordable and you're close to all those amenities mm -hmm. that you can have. Now, mm -hmm. all that is here in Byram, but like we said, if you are maybe in that kind of middle of the road price point that we talked to a lot of people in, you want to see what can I get, what's kind of the middle, mid-range thing here mm -hmm. in Byram, well, you just got to see it. And now we're back here at 315 Barrington Cove, so uh, thanks for sticking around. But you see everything else Byram has, we're here in Barrington, we're on the end of the cul-de-sac here. So you got, you know, a pretty nice little spot here. It's gonna be private. And look at the house, okay, 260,000. This one's listed right now as of us recording this video. So don't think this house in particular, I mean, maybe, maybe it's still there. You can you can check with us and, let, and see if it is, but but think this is the kind of stuff you can get here in Byron with this price point. You got a nice little porch area, but really, come on in. So you got a ton, so you got a ton of space in here. How many square feet is this house, Charles? 1903 is I'm making Charles be the cameraman on his own listing. That's uh, that tells you who really uh, runs the show here. But I'm trying to see if I can get a reaction out of it. But look at this kitchen. You got this whole kitchen here. No carpet. Big, spacious. All the adjectives that mean large. Master suite. To top off all that goodness you got inside, you of course got your fenced in private backyard and a storage built-in shed, workshop, wherever you want to be over here. And another little bonus on the other side, you've got your own natural gas powered backup generator here too. So Jerry might run the show when it comes to video, but I run the show when it comes to getting you into your new home or selling your home you got. That's right, Jerry, ain't that right? Ain't that right? Oh, 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 calm down now. See, I, he kind of can't respond a whole lot when I got him behind the camera, so. Uh... I knew he was going to kind of elbow me a little bit when we got back on camera. But look, if you can get that for 260 here in Byram, yeah, with all the extra. I mean, there's a lot of extras, a lot there's of space. Lots of extra space, workshop, dang generator. Yeah. So you get all that in Byram for 260. You know, if you're, you know, if you're looking at 200, there's options for you. And if you're looking at 350, 400. Well, just well, think what you can get if this is what you got at 260. You can get land for sure with your house there. I mean, honestly, what look a lot of people we talk to. They think they need to come in and spend 400 and they realize for 260 they got everything they need. And get so that right there. Maybe that's you. So Hey, uh, and it's not small. It's on a cul-de-sac. It's a cul-de-sac yard. That's right. So Byram is one of the areas here around the Jackson Metro. If you want to know more about all the other places and everything, ins and outs, you got to check out that video right there. I mean, it's going to tell you everything you need to know. So check it out. We'll see you there.
Yeah, if y'all seen some of our other videos, we a lot of times we'll get out and move around a little bit more, but winter has hit in Mississippi <laughs> this week. For Halloween. It, I mean, it seems like every Halloween we get yeah. a little cold weather. 